Welcome back to Free Speech TV. I'm Latoya Peterson of Racialicious.com, and I am sitting with Saru Jiraman. She is from Restaurant Opportunity Centers United and a professor of law at Brooklyn College, and we're going to talk a little bit about exactly what defines and who gets to define the American dream. Um, to me, the American dream is the ability to uh, seek opportunities equally across the board, the, the opportunity to better one's life. Um, right now, unfortunately, in the industry that I organize, restaurant workers do not have that opportunity. Um, about 60%, 70% of all restaurant workers that we've surveyed nationwide, we've surveyed more than 5,000, have told us that they have no, little or no mobility, that they're not able to move up to living wage jobs, and the majority live under the poverty line. So for the vast majority of workers, and we're talking about 10 million workers nationwide, we're not talking about a small, tiny, marginalized workforce, we're talking about a very mainstream workforce that all of us know, people who work in restaurants. Unfortunately, this large segment of America has not been able to define or obtain an American dream. And how does gender intersect with this whole idea of like a restaurant sub-economy where people are just kind of trapped in one or one class level um, if they don't slide downward? Yeah. Unfortunately, the National Restaurant Association has um, fought and won to keep the minimum wage for tipped workers at the federal level at $2.13. And that means that the majority of restaurant workers in America live in poverty, and the majority of restaurant workers in America happen to be women. And the majority of tipped workers in America happen to be women. So if we as consumers and people who eat in restaurants would say, you know what, we demand that the minimum wage for tipped workers go up, that would actually reduce the gender wage equity gap in the restaurant industry by about a quarter because women make so much less than men in all positions um, and they make so much less than men in the entire economy because servers, waitresses and waiters have about three times the poverty rate of the overall U.S. workforce. So I think gender intersects very directly because the majority of these workers are low-wage women. Many of them are single mothers. They don't have paid sick leave. They're working while sick. They're working in poverty wages, poverty wage jobs. Um, unable to keep up, unable to survive, and that hurts all of us. It hurts all of us when these women are working while sick. Obviously, we suffer as consumers. It hurts all of us when women don't can't afford to their rent. Um, we have many members who are homeless and serving in fine dining restaurants. So, to me, there's an incredibly urgent, important problem that we should all care about. Anybody who eats out in America should care about. I've been with uh, Saru Jaraman. She is from the Restaurant Opportunity Centers United and a professor at Brooklyn College of Law. Thank you so much for joining us on Free Speech TV. Thank you. And we are going to come back to you in just a couple more minutes with more interviews from the Take Back America conference. I'm Latoy Peterson from Racialicious. Keep watching.